The most remarkable achievement in space exploration has a name, but it isn't James Webb. Instead, it's the Voyager probes, which have been traversing the vastness of space for an impressive 47 years, consistently uncovering new insights into uncharted cosmic territories. These identical sister probes, humanity's farthest emissaries, have ventured into interstellar space, revealing that the outer edges of our solar system are far more peculiar than we had ever imagined. What accounts for the strange discrepancies recorded by the probes at the threshold of our solar system? And what are the enigmatic, wrinkled structures hidden within the heliosphere? To understand this, we journey back to 1977, a year marked by historic milestones like Jimmy Carter's inauguration as US President, the last execution by guillotine in France, and the film Rocky earning three Oscars. Yet, another momentous event from 1977 still resonates today, the launch of NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft. Voyager 2 was the first to leave Earth, embarking on August 20th, 1977, to explore the largely unknown outer regions of the planetary system. 16 days later, Voyager 1 followed on a different trajectory. At the time, no one could have anticipated that these launches would mark the beginning of the longest-running mission in modern space exploration. Initially, the program didn't foresee that Voyager 1 and 2 would eventually reach staggering distances of 24.63 billion and 20.59 billion kilometers from the Sun, respectively. The Voyager probes were initially launched with a primary mission to uncover new insights about the outer planets of our solar system. However, their journey didn't begin smoothly, as communication issues plagued Voyager 2 right from the start. Thankfully, NASA experts quickly resolved these problems, ensuring the mission could proceed and ultimately achieve groundbreaking milestones. At that time, humanity was only beginning to explore the mysteries of distant planets. Unlike today, when the James Webb Telescope provides unparalleled views of the outer planets, the 1970s marked an era of limited understanding. As Voyager 1 and 2 embarked on their missions, the focus was on studying the Jupiter and Saturn systems. The results were revolutionary. Voyager provided scientists with an abundance of data and imagery, significantly deepening our understanding of Jupiter, the massive gas giant, and Saturn with its iconic rings. While Voyager 1 eventually headed toward interstellar space, Voyager 2 had additional fascinating stops, further expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. The Voyager 2 probe performed a course correction in spring 1981 and proceeded on its journey to Uranus, which it reached on January 24, 1986. By this time, the spacecraft had already surpassed its expected operational lifespan by more than double. Undeterred by initial predictions, Voyager 2 not only closely examined Uranus, but also discovered 10 previously unknown moons of the distant ice giant. Next, the probe set its sights on Neptune, which was intended to be the mission's concluding chapter, as no further destinations were planned. During its approach, Voyager 2 captured over 9,000 images of Neptune, effectively marking a visual farewell to the outermost planet in the solar system. Beyond its photographs, the probe identified nine new moons orbiting Neptune. Among its observations was Triton, Neptune's largest moon, which it studied in great detail. Voyager 2 corrected earlier assumptions about Triton's size, finding its diameter to be 2,760 kilometers instead of the previously estimated 5,000 kilometers. Additionally, the probe revealed that Triton's brownish-white surface showed surprisingly few impact craters and discovered that active geysers periodically release liquid nitrogen into the surrounding area. The next monumental phase in the Voyager program was its entry into interstellar space. This milestone, reached in 2012, 
marked the probe's departure from the influence of the Sun's heliosphere into a region filled with interstellar medium, composed primarily of dust and ionized atomic and molecular gas. Reaching this distant frontier was a testament to the Voyager mission's extraordinary endurance and legacy. The interstellar medium comprises a combination of interstellar matter, the galactic magnetic field, and electromagnetic radiation. Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of the solar system in 2012, with Voyager 2 following in November 2018. Just as they revolutionized our understanding of the planets, these spacecraft are now providing groundbreaking measurements in interstellar space. Since the two probes are traversing different regions, scientists have gained a unique opportunity to analyze the interstellar medium at two distinct points and compare findings. One of Voyager 2's crucial tasks has been verifying and contrasting data collected by Voyager 1, such as confirming the density of particles in interstellar space. However, the differences in the probe's measurements have introduced intriguing and puzzling questions. To fully appreciate these discoveries, it's essential to first understand the structure of the solar system's boundaries. Surrounding the Sun is a complex dynamic network of magnetic field lines, which serve as pathways for electrically charged particles known as the solar wind. The solar wind flows throughout the solar system until it encounters the interstellar medium. These two elements, like oil and water, don't blend seamlessly. This interaction results in the solar wind forming a bubble within the interstellar medium, a region called the heliosphere. Thanks to the data from Voyager, we now know the heliosphere stretches approximately 18 billion kilometers from the Sun. At the outermost boundary of the heliosphere, the heliopause, interstellar space officially begins. Before Voyager 1 crossed the threshold of the solar system, our knowledge about this region was almost non-existent. The data the probe transmitted back to Earth astonished and perplexed scientists, as many of their predictions turned out to be inaccurate. For instance, the interstellar magnetic field was found to be nearly three times stronger than expected. This meant that interstellar particles exerted about 10 times more pressure on the heliosphere than theoretical models had anticipated. While Voyager 1's findings were groundbreaking, they were also incomplete. The probe's plasma temperature instrument had been malfunctioning since the 1980s. Voyager 2, however, still had a functioning counterpart, so researchers eagerly awaited its approach to the heliopause. Its data revealed that the surrounding plasma became denser, slowed down, and heated up as it neared this boundary. Beyond the heliopause, the interstellar medium was found to reach temperatures close to 30,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than predicted. However, due to the plasma's extremely diffuse nature, the actual temperatures around the probes remain surprisingly low. Voyager 2 also discovered that plasma moved both from interstellar space into the heliopause and vice versa. Interestingly, while Voyager 1 encountered compact interstellar particle clusters at the heliopause, Voyager 2 observed a stream of particles extending over 150 million kilometers into this boundary. Adding to the mystery, Voyager 1 detected a region approximately 1.3 billion kilometers before the heliopause where the solar wind noticeably slowed. These differences highlight only a fraction of the unresolved questions about the solar system's boundary regions. One major enigma is the precise shape of the heliopause. Recent data have revealed that it is surprisingly wrinkled. Researchers at Princeton University observed a significant 50% increase in solar wind pressure within a few months. Using this data, they reconstructed the heliosphere and heliopause, discovering massive folds extending tens of astronomical units into space. For reference, one astronomical unit is the average distance between the Sun and Earth, approximately 150 million kilometers. We're talking about folds, 
stretching billions of kilometers. No cosmetic treatment could smooth these out. However, the insights scientists have gathered about the origins of these wrinkled structures shed some light on the phenomenon. These folds arise from high-energy particles that flow back in waves from the heliopause, colliding with the solar plasma. This reveals that the heliosphere isn't a static, unchanging bubble, but a dynamic structure that constantly ripples, dips, and reshapes. Interestingly, these folds are even chasing the Voyager probes. As the solar plasma gradually smooths the folds, they continue to expand outward. Fortunately, the Voyagers, despite their advanced age, are moving too fast to be caught by these structures and pulled back into the ever-expanding heliosphere. However, the pursuit of these folds means that the probe's distance from the heliosphere isn't increasing as quickly as one might expect. Still, we can only marvel at the incredible journey of these spacecraft as they continue to unveil the mysteries of space. Speaking of journeys, if you're eager to join us on more cosmic adventures, feel free to hit the subscribe button and give this a thumbs up so you never miss another video.